today's Beyblade video, we are going to be starting a new, uh, like, a, like a new, a new play, like a new series. Not Beyblade Burst, like, I'm not replacing Beyblade Burst Drive. I am going to be creating a new, uh, thing where I'm going to be discussing about which Beyblade is better. Uh, and in this, like, uh, playlist, like, we're going to be, like, expecting and seeing which Beyblade in competitive wise combo wise uh against each other which is the better beyblade so yeah to start off today's episode we are going to be doing the two most big one of the two most biggest rivals we got rage longiness versus my rage fafnir so these two beyblades are left spin uh, attack types and uh, le two left spin Beyblades that are dragons. One is a stamina type, one is attack type. They're both left spin. One contains metal, the other one contains rubber. So in this Beyblade video, we're gonna be seeing which between these two Beyblades are better. Uh, so I don't want any debates. I'm just seeing this in my uh, view, which is really better, which has the best analysis, best competitive wise and stuff so let's start rage longness is a left spin metal dragon attack type has an upper attack layer which has a lot that has a lot of weight in it because of those two metal dragons over there and the chassis lines up with the layer which gives it more epic attacks so we got the destroy dash which is a very top tier uh, driver it is the LED is pretty good, I can say. Competitively, this is one of the best drivers. Just competitively, it's really just the best. And we got the three, uh, like the three A chassis. This three A chassis is a pretty thick chassis, and it is especially good with aligned with the Rage Longness layer. Next, we got the Rage Longness layer. It gives a lot of weight and attack because of those upper dragon heads and and it can spin still pretty well so let us see uh, the disadvantages and advantages of longness uh, advantages is it, it can beat uh, it, it can beat uh, almost all left spin beyblades we're talking about Geist Fafnir Wizard Fafnir and almost like almost all the little uh, left spins almost it's up it can beat some right spins but if the if it's battling some uh, another right spin that has better LAD than destroy dash then it cannot beat it tempest dragon lucifer the end uh yeah those two beyblades are very uh it's it's pretty rage has no chance in beating those because of the LAD purposes and uh yeah but the advantages are it has good attack so it can blast Beyblades away and it has a good pretty good LAD so it can destroy some right spin base uh, but the disadvantages is sometimes if it gets hit too hard like yeah it gets hit too hard and goes on bounce it will scrape a lot which kills its LAD and spin so that's the disadva one of its disadvantage and another of its disadvantage is it's a good attack type, but it doesn't have that much stamina in it, even though it ha it's pretty heavy. It doesn't have so much stamina, because it's an attack type, but it does good attack power. It has some good attack power. So yeah, that is the advantages and disadvantages of Longness. Here's Mary Fafnir. A left spin stamina type Dragon Bay, which has rubber. And the same as... And Rage, by the way, guys, only has one mode, which is just aligned with it. While my Rage Fafnir has two modes, Absorb Mode and Counter Mode. So Absorb Mode, except it's really good against right spin attack types or any right spin bait. It's pretty good in its Absorb Mode because it, it is aligned perfectly to Absorb Spin. But uh, if, again, the same as Rage, if... The, that baby has better LED than literal Fafnir, then Fafnir stands no chance against it. Again, 
Oh, the other Beyblades I was going to say again is Tempest Dragon and Lucifer the End. They have the same Beyblades that can beat each other. And next we have Counter Mode. So Counter Mode of Fafnir is a mode where you can def actually fight uh, the same spin. Like, so it's Absorb Mode is for opposite spin. While for, uh, for Counter Mode, it's for the same spin. So... That this mode is actually optionally good because in absorb mode it, it's the robber is aligned so it can spin still better. Well, ab absorb mode is it can deflect attacks from incoming Beyblades, so that's except exceptionally good for Fafnir. And it has uh, some good parts. We got nothing driver, the nothing driver, it's not that competitive. But it is in f it, it does some decent LAD, but not as good as literal uh, destroy dash. Uh, but it it has some good LAD, so I can say yeah, it's a decent. Thing. Okay, let's talk about the next part. The next part is the 2S chassis. The 2S chassis, even though it aligns perfectly with my Rage Fafnir, there are a lot of disadvantages with this thing. Uh, it's also this this chassis actually this decreases. Uh, it's spin steel. Uh, you, you might be like, wait, but why? But because Fafnir actually is not that good of a spin stealer. No, not like Geist and Wizard. Those two were very good in spin stealing. While well, my rage, it's decent, but it's not as good as the the other two Beyblades I just saw, talked about. Because it's too thick. Like it's too aligned perfectly. It's too thick. Sometimes they can't even hit the rubber properly. So that's one of the disadvantages of 2S. Though it has advantage, you can change modes with my Rage Fafnir. It has a lot of disadvantages. Like for, uh, yeah. For the Fafnir layer, the Fafnir layer is pretty good. The only problem I think I have with it is it. it's because it's too, like... I wish it was a little bit thicker. Because it's so thin. It's not that thin, but it's pretty thin, so the attacks can really damage this baby a lot. So yeah, that's Fafnir. So we talked about Fafnir and we talked about Longness. Now let's uh, talk about their their similarities and their differences. So first, we uh, these two Beyblades are left spin, so those are, that's already one uh, similar similarity with these two Beyblades. They are both left spin Beyblades. They're both Dragon Beyblades, and they are both thick. Uh, they are both thick in the layer and even in the chassis. They're aligned perfectly. Those are the, uh, one of those uh, similarities, and they are almost. Actually, wait. Yeah, and then the other similarity is they're both kinda in the same weight. Yeah, they're actually in the same height. They're in the same height. And uh, their weight is not that uh, far from each other, but still, I think Rage is still heavier. So, yeah, then the differences is that my Rage Fafnir is a stamina type, while Rage Longness is an attack type. Uh, Fafnir has some decent LED, but uh, just comparing the LED, uh, Little Longness has the upper hand in this LED battle. Next is the contribution with other opposite spin opposite spin we're gonna have to give it to fafnir because of absorbency and for uh the same spin uh, I, I i can't say for certain but these two beyblades are pretty good uh against each other like in left spin so uh again the disadvantages of rage is it it's too it's too uh not that if he gets hit too hard it goes scrape while for fafnir uh if it gets like pump it's too like it's a little bit too thin to get if it gets hit hard it will really just and the clicks of Fafnir is not that strong while rage clicks is pretty strong very strong though so uh, those are the comparison competitive wise rage got got the win rage got the win competitive wise in uh yeah like competitive wise rage is the winner but if it's fighting each other, let's see in the Beyblade Stadium, which is the better and the supreme Beyblade between these two Beyblades. So let's go. Okay, guys, I'm in the stadium, so I'm gonna be playing Fafnir Counter Mode, and it, it's uh, first two two points. First, I'll be launching Rage, then 
uh, after that next round I'll be launching like my raid so it will be fun. Okay, so first I'm going to be ra launching the raid. Okay, there. So we're just going to see the stats and stuff. Okay, looks like Fafnir got ringed out by Rage. Okay, that's good. Okay, so Rage, even if he got launched first, he still did a pretty good job. And that was payback from my Rage. Okay, that's pretty epic. So, that's 101. That's where we're just... Looks like Rage won this round. Fafnir got defeated. Now let's do it again. So let's reset the points. Let's do it again. This time, my Rage is one. Did it change something? And it did change something. Okay, let's do it again. So again, Fafnir has won. Rage has been won. Okay. Hey guys, uh, looks weird. I like your draw of Fafnir, he's like staying on the stadium still. I mean, Fafnir's still doing it, I guess. Oh! And Fafnir won! So Fafnir has two points, and they draw my, uh, like, they draw. A long list lost and had none, no points. So, in the standard stadium, guys, uh, well, this in the standard stadium, oh, bro. Okay, wait. In the standard stadium, guys, my Rage Fafnir beats Rage Longness because in the first round, I launched Rage Longness first. Uh, Rage Longness got two points winning, and then uh, Fafnir got one point, which was pretty decent. And then I s switched it. Fafnir was launched next. First in that round, and Fafnir got two points while uh, Rage Columnus got zero points. So, just by the way, the stats you can see that uh, my Rage Fafnir is in fact better than Rage in the standard stadium. So, yeah, that's gonna let's test it out again, but in the DB stadium this time. So, yeah, okay, guys, we're in the DB stadium. I got um, Mirage Fafnir. I'm gonna be launching Mirage Fafnir first. So it's up to two points. Okay, look at that. Okay, this is attack already from the start. Looks like my rage got hit pretty on off balance. It's pretty off balance now. And it's looking stunned up pretty quick. Oh! And oh okay, so Mirage of Rage takes this round. Let's do it again. Let me launch Rage first. Mirage is next. Okay, what's that? Oh, okay, that's a pretty good attack from uh, Fafnir. And Mirage wins. Okay, guys. So uh, yeah. Mirage won, so it's one to one. Let's do this again. Three, two, one, go. Uh, it looks like literal Mirage is just in the center. It's insane. Oh crap. Uh oh. It's coming down up. win so mirage wins with two points and rage loses with one point so let's do this again we start all points and we are gonna be launching rage first until two points and rage. Rage. Okay, looks like mirage is pretty stable in the stadium gonna find the ground. and it got hit pretty harsh by rage rage looks like it's gonna lose stamina because it uh oh Oh, it looks like my rage is still in between. Okay, one point to Fafnir and zero points to Longness. So let's do this again. So, yeah. Okay, looks like rage is already doing pretty good at like a, a good speed. 
speed. Okay, yep, now. Um, oh, wait. Oh, 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 oh. And Mirage wins. So, Mirage beats Rage by its own game. So, Rage was launched first, and he lost by... Um, he lost by zero points, while Rage, my Rage won by two points. So, uh, that's it. Like, literal, yeah. Just by looking at the stats, we can see that uh, my Rage is better in both Standard and DB Stadium than uh, Longinus. Sadly, uh, in competitive wise, the winner will be uh, Rage Longinus because of the top tier parts it has. But if it's uh, to, to like fighting each other, fist fight, fighting uh, head on, like just two of them, the winner would be my Mirage Fafnir. It's just because that Mirage Fafnir is more stable and has more stamina. So yeah, the better Beyblade of these two is Mirage Fafnir. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like this new uh, series I I've created, uh, leave a like and subscribe and comment if you like this series and you want it to keep going. So yeah, that's it for today's video. Bye guys.